hello guys welcome to my new android video in this video i will show you how to create a draggable view or a button which can be dragged across the screen and can be placed anywhere you want so to get a feel of it we will be building something like this we have a view in the background and then we have this button a image button which can be dragged anywhere and you can also click on it and it will display clicked or you can perform any operation that you want right in your application so let's get on to it and see how this can be created right let's get to the code first okay i have this empty frame layout so frame layout has this feature where any child view that you add will be placed on top of each other so let's say you have two views one is view one and another is view two view two will be placed on top of view one unless you specify some gravity or margin to it right so let's see that so what i'll do is i'll create a scroll view match parent match parent and in that scroll view i'll have some text views so i'll mark it as match parent and wrap content i will give some background to it which will be color let's say primary and i'll have some text which is text one right now i'll increase the size of it so that we can cover few more views and make it scrollable so what I'll do is I'll say the text size would be uh, let's say 200 dp or oh, that would be very big let's make it 100 dp right and I'll have multiple such views so let's say this is view 2 right and yeah we forgot one more thing so scroll view takes only one child one immediate child so we have to wrap it inside a linear layout and give it the orientation of vertical now you can place as many views as you want inside your linear layout right now we have two uh, let's make it a different color right so that we can differentiate between these easily so let's create few more so that it becomes scrollable I created these many so I will just name them 4 5 and 6 now that we have these many views and which are within this scroll view right let's create our button which we want to drag right I will create a image button right wrap content wrap content and give it the background of the image which is uh, let's make it let's give it launcher itself right so it has the launcher okay it's inside scroll view we need to put it outside scroll view all right so we have it over here on the top as I said so scroll view is one view inside frame layout and our image button is another so image button is coming on top of the scroll view uh, but I want it in the bottom so what I will do is I will specify the layout gravity as bottom so it's there in the bottom and I, I want it in the right perfect now I will specify some margin to bottom so let's say 10 dp and to the right as well so that it's visible perfectly fine right great so now we have our view ready right and we have this activity draggable view which uses this view right now let's run it and see what we have done till now it's building and installing apk and we are done so i have this app where I used to, to take some Android UI session so that's where I'm doing it so it's under draggable view so once you click it yeah we have our view ready 
so if you see I'm trying to drag this button till now it's now draggable right so let's see how we can make it draggable so there's no like magic line or anything in XML that will make the view draggable right you have to do that programmatically you have to do that in your Java code so let's see how we can achieve it so first of all I need to find the view which we want to make draggable right and for that we need an ID in that view so I will give an ID say draggable view right and use that to find our view right we have our draggable view fine and now in this draggable view I will set a touch listener so that we can track multiple events on this particular view so I'll keep it this and make the activity implement on touch listener right so it returns a boolean the boolean means if it's true then it means that you have handled this event perfectly fine and if it's false which means you didn't handle this event so let's see so this event so we have two view two things two parameters in this method right view and event so we have the view on which the event is performed so we need to figure out which event is performed and see if we can drag the view on that particular event or not so basically we will listen to the motion event which drags the view and mark the current position of the view as the default position of the view so let's see how we can do that so I have this switch which will switch for the get action which action has been performed right and let's say case so case motion and dot action move right so when there is a move action after touching the button what should we do what we will do is mark the event position get row x as the current position of view and same goes for y all right and then break so now whenever we will drag it we will mark the raw position of the view which is the current position after drag as the default position of the view right let's see what happens after this I will run the app again and we will see that in action it's building installing apk and our app is ready we'll go to draggable view and let's see we are able to drag our button but we see a gap over here right my cursor is a bit up but my view is down so how we can bridge this gap right so again if i'll show you i am pressing it down and trying to move it so you see right it just moved below so this is the delta that we need to fix we need to keep it right where the cursor is so how we can do that first we need to figure out the gap between our cursor and the row x right and then add that when we set x and y right so let's see how we can do it so the, there is another event motion event down so when I press it at that time I want to get the actual x of the view and minus the event dot get row x so this will give me the difference between x position right similarly I want to get the difference between y axis so it should be x 
and I will mark it as T Y. So now that we have both the gaps X and Y, what we need to do is when we set row X and row Y, we need to add that delta as well. So D X and add D Y as well, right? Now if I run the app, we should have reached that gap and our view should be exactly where our cursor is right so app has run let's go out go to our view now if i try to drag it if you see it's very precise wherever my cursor is at the same position i can see the button right awesome so now we have gone so far uh, now what i want is i want to do something when the button is clicked right but now that you have set the own touch click listener you cannot set own click listener on this view now because both will conflict whenever you press the button it will either call action down in the own touch or it will call the own click right so there is a conflict over there so we have to handle the click inside own touch itself so to do that so if you think when our button will be clicked so if I have pressed the button down which means action down and immediately released it which means action up so if this action up followed by the action down that means our button is clicked right so which means we need to keep a state of the last action which has happened right so what I will do is motion event dot action down I will maintain this in a variable so that we can get the last so this was the last action right and same goes for this action move right now when we release the button event action up up means we are releasing the button in that case i want to check if the last action was motion event dot action down right the last action was down and now i am releasing the button which means it is clicked so in that case i want to make a toast which is this I will say clicked right and length short should right and click all right and I will mark it as true that we have handled the all the events now right so now if I click the view it should say clicked in the toast right so let's run the app and see what happens so again building the app installing the apk and the app is okay it's taking some time here maybe i'll try running it again yep it's there so in draggable view i'm dragging so see it's not saying any toast over here so it's maintaining the state that it's moving it and now if i click it it will say clicked so now it knows okay when the drag is happening and when the button is clicked right so this is how we can create our draggable view we have a scrollable view in the background right and we have a draggable view on top of it which can be dragged anywhere and can be clicked so that's all folks so i hope you like this video uh, and for the code of course you can go to my github account i have mentioned the link below as well and it has many other things like what are what i'm i have covered in this app in session one there are multiple things in session two we have draggable view as well right 
and I have these screenshots. I'll be covering the other parts in other videos. So to check those, please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. And please like, comment, share this video so that others can also get a feel of the trackable view. Thanks a lot guys.